Bitcoin has matured from a white paper on a mailing list into a multi-billion dollar economy operating without central banks, corporations, or government entities. A digital currency which cost fractions of a penny in its infancy is now worth more than gold, which is poetic in the sense that Bitcoin functions as a digital precious metal. It is the first decentralized digital currency, and subsequently, the largest. In October 2008, a white paper was released onto a cryptography mailing list describing Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer currency system where transactions take place directly between users. These transactions are verified multiple times by a network of computers and recorded in a public ledger. This ledger is known as the blockchain, which we will get to later. Bitcoin had solved the issue of double spending by using a proof-of-work system based on Hashcash, which was developed in 1997 by Adam Back. While Bitcoin was popular in cryptography groups, it was essentially worthless until April 2010, when the first Bitcoin exchange launched, with the currency trading at a third of a penny. On May 22, 2010, a developer named Laszlo paid 10,000 Bitcoin through a Bitcoin forum to user Jerkos, who was 18 at the time, for two Papa John's pizzas. It was the first exchange of Bitcoin between two people for a good or service. The pizzas were worth $20 in US currency at the time, but they are now worth 20 million and counting. After reaching parity with the US dollar in early 2011, and its first bubble in July of that year, Bitcoin began a tumultuous rise in 2013, culminating with a hack at the largest exchange at the time, Mt. Gox. Users at the exchange had been complaining that they were unable to withdraw their funds, and eventually, Mt. Gox admitted that 744,000 Bitcoin had been stolen. However, this was due to flaws in their security and not flaws in Bitcoin itself. This led to a massive drop in Bitcoin's value, falling from an all-time high of $1,200 to a few hundred. Some declared Bitcoin as good as dead. But here we are, with over 300,000 Bitcoin transactions a day and 16 million Bitcoin in circulation, 5 million short of the built-in cap of 21 million. This by itself is a defining characteristic of Bitcoin. Unlike traditional currency, which can be printed ad infinitum, Bitcoin is finite. If you had to design a futuristic currency for a science fiction film, you might come up with something close to Bitcoin. So, let's do some math. If the 16 million Bitcoin currently in circulation had to be evenly distributed right now to all 7.5 billion people on the planet, each person would get 0.0021 Bitcoin. Therefore, by owning any more than that, you own a majority. Subsequently, if all 21 million Bitcoin had to be distributed to every millionaire in the world, none of them could own a whole Bitcoin. The last Bitcoin is estimated to be mined in the year 2140. Millions can be moved around the world instantly, requiring no financial institutions or bureaucracy. Families can receive money from relatives working overseas without dealing with exchange rates or banks. There is dispute over what to refer to Bitcoin as. In 2017, Japan officially recognized Bitcoin as a currency. Venezuela turned to Bitcoin after its government threatened to pull notes from circulation. Palestine is considering using Bitcoin as a national currency, despite where your country may currently land on the issue. Bitcoin is a democratization of money. So you should probably buy some.